those of you who remember my rant about the iPhone last year know that I have a kind of love-hate relationship with modern and trendy gadgets. I don't have MSN or Yahoo Messenger because I'm rarely online at the same time as most of my friends and I don't trust the software. I don't have a gaming console because I don't really play that many games. I don't have a cell phone because I hardly ever need to make a phone call outside of the house, and the list goes on. In fact, I even needed to get dragged kicking and screaming on a Facebook, and the only reason that I finally did was because an increasing number of my friends were bugging me with invites every so often. But I love you all. <laughs> um, so you can probably tell how I think and feel about the latest fad, Twitter. Having been on Facebook for a couple of years now, I'm pretty aware that one of the more popular features is the ability to tell people whatever you're doing on the fly through status changes. It's one of the site's smaller quirks, but it's something that everyone used, so naturally their competitors needed to copy it. MySpace put up their own take a few months ago, which is pretty much the same as the one on Facebook. Now along comes Twitter, which is basically nothing but status changes. So, what's so cool about that? I'm sorry, but my idea of a good time isn't reading about every single thing that a person does in his or her life. And if I signed up for Twitter myself, I'd imagine that my friends and fans would want something better from me than Steve is reading the paper, or Steve is watching the latest review from the Angry Video Game Nerd, or Steve is playing his guitar, or Steve is eating turkey jambalaya, or Steve is puking because he forgot to get rid of the stuffing first. Need I go on? Let's look past what some famous twat dictates is cool and get real for a minute. Day-to-day -day life just isn't that interesting. If you're following a newspaper or a band or something else that's really active, then fine. But for pretty much everyone else, you've got to have way too much freaking free time on your hands to have fun with it. While we're on the subject, why the hell do all these social networking sites think that the best way to attract new customers is to just copy what everyone else does? Is there really something wrong trying to do something different? I mean, when I got into MySpace and Facebook, they both had pretty much their own approaches and personalities. Now you can't tell them apart. Even MSN is looking more like Facebook all the time. I wouldn't be in the least bit surprised if they're just going to merge the site sooner or later. I mean, where else can you do? And where else can you go if all you're going to do is clone everything? Granted, these are free sites, but I don't know. Personally, I don't think it's too much to expect that these guys grow up here once in a while. I mean, tie it into our emails or our Xbox accounts or beam it into our fillings. I don't care. Let's do something bold. Okay, I'm good. The point is, when these guys are running these high-tech distractions and they actually do something interesting for a change, I might be willing to give it more than the 15 minutes that they might deserve. Enough said. <laughs>